dear student today we are going to start the new chapter in physics that is human eye and the colorful world we choose this chapter because that is become easy for you because the light reflection and refraction contain lots of numerical that need face to face interaction so let's go with the human eye and the colorful world in your ncert it is a chapter number 11 page number 187 so human eye use light and enable us to see object it has a lens in its structure and the lens function as to see different object so in your chapter human eye act as an optical instrument it contain first of all lens lens is in concave in shape second light mostly refract in our eyes refract and refraction is the term which we need to study in the light first chapter that is reflection and refraction i am going to brief you about the refraction refraction is nothing but the bending of light when it passes from one medium from one medium to another means if we are looking at something so the light enters inside our eyes from the air and inside our eyes there is a liquid substance so the light bends from air when it enter inside our eyes that is the water or that is the liquid so refraction is nothing but bending of light so second term is refraction third part is parts of eyes eyes has many parts it is act as an eyeball so what we are looking outside eye is not this type of shape eye is perfectly ball like structure that's why it is called eyeball it has a minimum 2 mm diameter the shape of the eye is perfectly circular with slightly bulging from outside so this is the perfect shape do not get confused within your textbook or other reference book that has many typical diagrams so let's go start with the diagram of the construction of eyes is perfectly you can draw this with the help of compass just rub the initial part make it little bit bulging remove from the dark side and that is only needed in your ncert and in your exam so that bulging part is called cornea and the back portion is called retina and this is the hair like structure is called optic nerves now inside your eyes initially i told you there is a lens called convex lens convex lens is held by a muscles ye ek muscles ki help se attach hote hain that muscles are called ciliary muscles that lens is convex lens or crystalline lens right and outside of the lens there is a dark diaphragm muscle that is dark again attached with this this dark portion is called iris this is the muscular part this is the muscles and the gap that gap is called pupil so pupil is nothing no nothing part it is just a gap between the iris this is the lens that much only you needed to draw in your diagrams 
there is a liquid substance which is filled between the cornea and the lens that is called aqueous humor aqueous means water and back side means between the lens and the retina again there is a liquid is called vitreous humor so now this is the only diagram which you need to learn regarding the human eye now we are going to explain one by one each and every part what is the function of each part so first let's start with the cornea cornea is the bulging part which is outside of the eye cornea helped to refract most of the light refract means a light from air bends when it enters the water that is medium so most of the refraction is done by the cornea so it is bulging shape help to refract most of the light from all the part of the body next cornea function is only to refract most of the light next is your ciliary muscles ciliary muscles helped to hold the lens and to contract and relax when needed this is the function of ciliary muscles that we will study further in the chapter ciliary muscles help to hold the lens and it contract and relax what the lens next so this is the your bulging portion is the first part your that is muscles is the second one now third come with the iris iris is the di diaphragm the function of iris is to control the amount of light control the amount of light which is entering in our eyes you can uh, predict iris as it is type of a gate when there is a much crowd gate become closed and the opening become very less and when there the crowd is less the opening of the gate is much more so if the light is much more light is getting entering in our eyes this iris squeeze means contract and the pupil size become less pupil ka size chota ho jata hai और आइरिस कॉन्ट्रैक्ट कर लेती है जब कम लाइट होती है इफ यू आर इन द डार्क रूम आई सेंस बिकॉज आईज इज अंस ऑफ गेन आई सेंसेस सो द आईरिस रिलैक्सड एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द लाइट कीप ऑन एंटरिंग इन साइड अवर आईज सो द फंक्शन ऑफ आईज इज टू कंट्रोल द अमाउंट ऑफ लाइट वॉट इज दैन प्यूपल प्यूपल इज अ गैप थ्रू विच लाइट एंटर्स अवर आईज सो साइज ऑफ द प्यूपल इज कंट्रोल बाय द आईरिस प्यूपल एक गैप है रास्ता है आने का लाइट का अंदर तो प्यूपल का जो साइज है प्यूपल कितना बड़ा होगा कितना छोटा होगा दैट इज कंट्रोल बाय द आईरिस इफ यू आर लुकिंग इन साइड योर आईज एट द सेंटर ऑफ द आईज देर इज अ ब्लैक स्पॉट दैट इज फिगर लाइक दिस इफ यू प्रॉपरली सी एंड इन साइड देर इज अ डार्क कलर दैट डार्क कलर इज प्यूपल एंड दिस शेप circular shape is called iris so this full is not iris inside your black a uh, black inside your eyes only this type of figure is called iris and the black portion inside it is called pupil now what is the function of the aqueous humor which is filled between the cornea and the lens the function of the aqueous humor to maintain pressure between the cornea and the lens means it maintain pressure on the lens and you can also say that it protect your lens with the high speed of air with any dust it is a protection between your cornea and the lens and provide nutrient to the eyes because eyes is a living thing it also need food it also need nutrients so nutrients are provided by this aqueous humor and the second function is aqueous humor provide pressure between the cornea and the lens next is vitreous humor function of vitreous humor to maintain shape of your eyes maintain shape means eyes is a ball it is inflated like a ball you can consider like this if we take out the air from the balloon what it's look like it is just 
shape become deteriorated. So to maintain the shape of the eyes, there is a liquid that is called vitreous humor between and this vitreous humor is present between the lens and the retina and its function also to provide nutrients and given the shape of the eyes. Last, second last is your retina. Function of retina is, retina is a screen. In a screen, we can uh, found an image, a real image. We can perform a real image. So, for if there is a tree, I am going to clean, clean some part. If this is an object, so on retina, the image is like this, always inverted. Because this image is called real and inverted. And this is the function of this optic nerves which sends signal to the brain. Brain interpret that signal and convert this inverted image into the straight form. So this is straight image that is called virtual image is formed inside your brain. But on the retina, it is always inverted and real. So the function of retina is to form image. Now, retina also contain many cells. That is called, in retina, there is a light sensitive cell. Have you heard some people are color blind? That is not key. Their people are not able to see all colors. But that people are not able to see certain colors. So, retina contain cone cell and rod cell. C for color and this cell is for brightness. That is for brightness. So, we are able to identify one millions of colors. We can identify many colors of many shades of pink. We can identify many shades of yellow. Any colors because of these cells. These are millions on our retina so that we can identify any, any shapes of any color. And this rod cell, cell is for brightness. Means this rod cell make you realize that now it is morning, now it is evening, now it is dark, now it is rainy season. Means all brightness inside your brain is controlled by this rod cell. So those people who are not able to see certain colors means that that some cone cells, not all cone cells, some cone cells are missing on the retina. That's why they are called color blind. There is one spot near the optical nerves. From where the optical nerves leaves the eyes, that is called blind spot. Blind spot is a part from on which no image is formed. Why? Uh, this is the part where no image is formed. Because this part doesn't contain cone and rod cell. This part do not have cone and rod cell. That's why this is called blind spot. And the region where the optic nerves leaves the eye, that part is called blind spot. Now the function of optic nerves is to convert these all images which are forming on the retina to the light sensitive to the electronic signal that reaches the brain and brain interpret all your image. So all the function and the process are already given in one of the PPT which I am sending you. You can make notes with the help of this, that PPT with the help of your NCRT book that is chapter 11 page number I think 187. You have to write the definition and the function of each and everything that is already given in that PPT and worksheet in worksheet that is already given. You have to draw, draw like this. No need to do the complex diagram. Only the eye and the parts and separate page, separate copy. You have to need all the definitions and the function. Our next topic is, which I am going to include in this, your video, is power of accommodation. Accommodation means adjustment. That is, 
power of accommodation. Accommodation means adjustment. Now who is going to adjust inside your eyes? This is your eyes. Again, a small bulging part, of optical nerves, and there's a ciliary muscles, a dark diaphragm is iris. Now in this whole eyes, who are going to adjust? That is this lens. Lens is going to adjust. Now adjust with the help of what? Adjust with the help of this ciliary muscles. So if lens is going to adjust with the help of this ciliary muscles, this is called power of accommodation. So when the lens is going to be adjusted, for example, with the same lens, you are looking for a nearby object. This is one object which is lying just near to you. And with the same lens, you are going to look at a far object. How this is possible? With the same lens, that is near object. For these two things, our lens need to be adjusted according to the object. For example, if lens is going to look for the nearby object, then the lens of our eyes contract. Thoda chota ho jata hai. Chota ho jata hai means the ciliary muscles jo isko pakde hoi hai, they help to adjust the lens, to help the lens to contract. And if the same lens, that is for near object. And if the same lens are going to see far object, then the lens relaxed. And with the help of these ciliary muscles. So ciliary muscles, that is lens, Amara kya ho jata hai? relax. And this way lens contract. Jab near hota hai to contract. Jab far object hota hai, so lens kya ho jata hai? Relax. Both with the help of these serial muscles. So this is the power of accommodation. Now, when these ciliary muscles doesn't work properly, that is called defect of our eye. That topic we will start in our next video. So till now, you have to go through the construction of our eyes. Function of each part of our eyes, power of accommodation, definition, all are given in your PPT and in your worksheet. You have to write down what is the power of accommodation, draw the diagram. The diagram should be simple, not complicated. Do not just copy and paste with the reference book. Just go with your own diagram. So thank you for all for today's video. In next video, Please go through with some of the defects of eyes. We will continue.